engineer 775 um, wanting to soup up my ability to make hot water in my house and so I took out I had this six plate heat exchanger and for about eight years and it it's just not doing it um, from a thermal siphoning principle I just um, got tired of it so I took it out <laughs> and instead of a flat plate which the I think the problem is the plates are so close together they they clog and there's corrosion see some of the corrosion on the outside and from time to time I flush it out but it uh, anyway lots of corrosion so I've gone to a more forgiving heat exchanger setup I hope you can see this it is a uh, shell and tube and shining the flashlight on the shell and tube and hope you can see some of this anyway and I put a Taco bronze 006 uh, circulating pump in line so I plumb that in line with a shell and tube heat exchanger that dumps hot water into the tank so I just drained 80 gallons of hot water and started with ice cold water because I wanted to do a test so I just got up and running and my boiler is nice and hot and the heat exchanger will just it'll just burn you so right now I'm seeing how long it takes to heat up um, this 80 gallon water heater with uh, wood so and a, a half an amp circulating pump on 110 volts so it's about 60 watts of power 120 volts about 60 watts of power in a circulating pump um, I tried pulling a wire Oh, I got a lot of drywall to fix to get uh, to get that wire run. Uh, if there are any electrical geniuses, this is probably not to code, but I was going to pull a 110 leg off of my disconnect. And uh, let me know what you think about that. But right now, I'm not going to do that. And I'm just the redneck setup. I'm just plugged into a timer. And so what my goal is um, is to take this timer, and at four in the morning, roughly that circulating pump will come on and make sure that I've got this tank topped off. But after that, I'm going to try to get fancy with some snap discs, temperature sensors, to turn this pump on when that drain brass nipple hits a certain temperature. Maybe 100 and um, when it drops to 100 degrees, I'm going to kick this pump on. So I'm going to do maybe an inline snap disc uh, circuit or a little switch to turn this on. So if you got any cool ideas, flow meters, sensors, whatever, on how to optimize um, this pump. So I'm doing some experimenting. I, I want to, um, the 220 disconnect is pulled. I am not using this stupid thing, any, I mean this thing anymore. So, um, and so I'm trying to dial this into six people taking showers in the morning off of wood heat. And I just couldn't keep up with my little flat plate heat exchanger. So we've gone to a shell and tube. I know it's hard to see everything in there, but I'm running my one inch PEX lines into my shell and tube from the wood boiler. Okay. Okay, I took some insulation that I had kicking around to insulate that heat exchanger. So right now this is rooms a lot cooler all the heat is going into the water so I touch this uh, elbow getting pretty good pretty good heat transfer between the top and the bottom so looking forward to uh, using 60 watts versus 9,000 watts of power to keep my water ahead of the shower so as you can see, the disconnect is pulled, and that's where she belongs. Okay, now I'm back to do an update. I passed out in the chair and fell asleep. So, uh, <laughs> I ran the circulating pump for probably longer than it needed to. Pump is off. I've got an 80 gallon water heater that is filled with 180 degree Fahrenheit water right now. So it ran for several hours. So probably used two, 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 three, at about 200 watts of power to heat that 80 gallons. And uh, it is awesome. I've got 
probably longer than I had. So anyway, I got a timer. If the thermal siphoning can't keep up, which it will, it'll thermal siphon. But at uh, six o'clock in the morning for tomorrow, I'll get this set to turn on the circulating pump for two hours and see if we can keep up with all the showers. So I am psyched. Everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised in the morning when they take their showers and uh, there's no lack of water. So I'm pretty excited about the shell and tube setup and I know it's a lot more forgiving than that plate heat exchanger was. So I'm tire tired of fighting that. This is the way to go.